What's going on, guys? My name's Renixio. It's your boy, Robino. Today, we're here to do the movie review for Hellboy. Oh. Now, uh, overall, what did you think of this movie? I mean, it wasn't that bad. They just could have told. They could have just told it a little bit better. That's that's my only thing. But yeah, it, it did bad. seem to have a fairly weak story overall. Yes. That it was yeah. very rapid and it had a lot of potholes and just yes. in general, it didn't flow as well as we could have flowed. Yeah, I wish it did because it really it really had potential. I would say that it really did. It did have potential, but just wasn't there. This movie follows Hellboy, which of course we know from the previous Hellboy movies and the Hellboy franchise yeah. and all that stuff. As he tries to learn his origin story, he learns his origin story because Nimue, the ancient witch that was destroyed by King Arthur, the ancient witch that was destroyed by King Arthur, is making her return. And in order to fight against this witch, um, Hellboy has learned about his origins, uh, his and how he, his origins relate to King Arthur. How he get the sword Excalibur, which is the only weapon that can destroy her. Unfortunately, it's a double-edged sword. He gets Excalibur to destroy her. He unleashes the apocalypse on the world. It's a whole big thing going yeah. on there. That's what the story is about: is him trying to come learn about all the stuff and try to try to beat this ancient evil that's coming back. Yeah. Um, but what are your main issues with this movie? <sighs> Man, I can there start lot, the like pacing. Say, movie the pace it was man. very slow it's like well no it no no, no not slow it was like really fast i mean you don't even get a chance to die to even digest any of the characters like you don't really get to like you know like each character you meet them next thing you know they're on to the next thing you don't really i mean they'll tell the story but not in a way that you well, can kind of understand uh, them you know well, after the beginning the opening prelude where the scrying would happen right hellboy goes to mexico t1 technically to find his friend that disappeared, or technically an agent, who yeah. disappeared investigating the vampire nest. Comes to find out he's a wrestler, he's now a uh, vamp, he turns to a vampire bat monster halfway yeah. through, and he kills him, he cries, he gets depressed for three weeks, drinks to a stupor. He is called back by his father, Ian McShane, and they have to immediately go to England for the hunt to hunt three trolls. Right. You meet the uh, Osiris Club, I think it was? Yes. Uh... Like I said, it's really fast paced. They keep having yeah. things going on. I mean, it, it tells the story pretty well. It's just, it's just so fast. Like, you don't get to really, like, understand that. Just mess it yeah. I mean, Osiris betrays him because they don't trust him even after he's been alive for about, I think, was it uh, 22 or? It was during the the end of the World War II. The end of World War II. Yeah. The Nazis hired Rasputin to summon a creature that could help him win the war. Mm -hmm. The uh, alliance with the help of, uh, what was it? Uh, General Lobster? Cotton Lobster? Yeah. Whatever it was, he's an important character in the in the uh, comic series, and attacks them, stops the ritual, or they, they don't know they don't stop the ritual. They stop them after Hellboy is summoned as a child. Ian McShane's character, right. Doctor Broom, I think it was Broom, uh, takes him in uh, instead of killing him and develops a weapon. Of course, we all know that origin story. There. But all these people just keep going, and the same Huntsman Club is the ones what let him live back then. Now they want to kill him now. Right. They, so they call him here, hunt three three giants, which are actually true. They kill them, or they attack him. The trolls kill them. He kills the giants, not yeah. trolls. And then on, he gets damaged. You meet Alice, yeah. who has a vision of him, takes him in. Then you learn about how he was connected to her past. Yeah. And so it, it feels like coming to a story is part way through. You're yeah. meeting all these characters that we met in previous incarnations that they're just telling brief stories about rather yeah. than showing you really how they were, how they met with each other. Yeah, because you find out through Alice's story, like you find out through the actual pig. The the, the the what was his name? It was uh, Grugach. Grugach. Yeah, Grugach. And you find out how you know her her origin story through the pig. And I'm like, wait a minute, like. Was oh, the pig? I thought she was telling, but no, 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 because they were talking about how, um, because Hellboy was talking about him and how he, well, not even met him, but he kind of already knew about him, because well, thing, Alice was, she was a baby at the time, yes, and and Grudge captured her, a fairy capture, and Grudge was the yeah. shapeshifter that took her place, right. Um, Hellboy fixed it and brought her back, but when uh, so the uh, Grugach escaped, damaged, failed his mission in yeah. life. The uh, real Alice was brought back from the fairies, and she had these supernatural powers all of a sudden because of that. So yeah, it was it's it was it's crazy. Like it was just I'm so mad because I'm like, yo, this has put potential. And they squandered this that. This had so much because all this right. is and this was a reboot. Another though. issue. This was a reboot. Not necessarily. The only thing it was wasn't a reboot in that. Yes and no. The your first two Hellboys, well, maybe not so much the second one, yeah. but the first Hellboy. There's actually a series of com comic book or. Uh, 
miniseries yeah. that take place. And this actually takes place during the the hunt, Hellboy the Hunt a series, whatever yeah. it was, where the other ones took place in the earlier movies. Right. Um, which is what they kind of messed up because I thought Abe Sapien, the uh, fish dude, yeah. was already a part of member of the team back then. Yeah. In the first movies, when it took place in the first se- set of right. the series, this actually happened six years after the fact. It's they they unless I'm getting something wrong, it yeah. seems to me they messed up a lot of this, that. They mixed up a lot of that stuff up. Yeah. But overall, what do you think of the music of this movie? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you had an issue with that. <laughs> it was just there, like the, it just didn't make any sense. The music, it was just like put the, which I hate when. Movie do music is just as important. It is very important. It helps set the scene. And they just put the music. They, there was the, some of the music didn't really mix in with the scenes. It was just like da 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 da. Maybe they're trying to go like, along no. with what Hellboy looked like. Yeah, which I liked how he looked. Kind of. Yeah, I like the how he looked rocker, too. The rocker hair, the yes. big brow, and all that which, stuff on him. Which is cool, but it's just I don't know. It was like well, he looks the, like a heavy metal rocker dude. So well, maybe they're trying to go along with that. Maybe it was the song. Maybe it was the song itself. Maybe they just picked the wrong songs. But I'm telling you right now, it was just like, oh, it just did not match. It did not, no. And music is very important to me when it comes to movies. Like, you have to have good music in there. And if, mm-hmm, you're, mm-hmm. if your music just ain't matching and mixing in with it, I'm just, I'm already kind of like, oh, ugh, bad. Mm-hmm. I understand that. What I personally, and if anyone who knows me at all, I love gore, yes. I love violence. In movies and games, not yeah. in real life. And I love destruction. In games and movies, have a city burning in right. movie 2012, watching all of California or get shaken up and destroyed by the earthquake and all yeah. that stuff. I love mass destruction like that. So when Hellboy finally gets a scout near the end of the movie, becomes the giant demon he's supposed yeah. to be um, with a crown and all that stuff, hell it's starts cool. coming out of the cracks in the world. Yeah. And these demons start impaling and destroying and ravaging everybody. I yes. just love watching him do that. One of my favorite scenes from that little selection was when a demon comes out, picks a guy by the head, slams him onto a sword, and skins him like that. And but it's violent. It's just funny, I guess? It was funny, <laughs> but at the same time, I think that was their... It, it kind of, to me, don't get me wrong, it would have been cool if they would have just made the story better, then I would have not minded so that. So they made use of the rated they R, were so R focused, rating. Yeah, exactly, because they were so focused. Because like, just like I said, yeah, it's rated R, so they were so focused on the cuss words and making everything gory and bloody that it kind of not ruined the movie for me but I could tell they were, they were trying to focus on that more than trying to get the storyline and the plot better. If they would have just worked on the storyline and the plot, that would have been even cooler. I would have loved it. Uh, maybe. I mean, but, and, and not only that, the CGI it needs to have was gore cool. though. It's a movie out in monsters yes, interacting with humans. It has to be gore and some violence in it. But it looked kind of, some of the stuff looked kind of corny. It, it looked like you know, just like I said, like the the monster had a giant human walking around. legs. You know, what I'm saying sh- he was showing off his beautiful new shoes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> which is made of human flesh. Made of hu- no, oh, oh yeah, it was that was weird. I mean, the the guy, uh, the monster taking the guy's legs and going, Rah! you see the guts flying out. I'm just like, yo, there felt like many of the scenes were meant to be in 3D though. Yeah, like I when Alice so. learns one of her new powers of punching people and knocking the spirits out of them, yeah. which is, she just learned randomly in a forest throughout the when she was fighting alongside yeah. uh, uh, Olmec Werecat, which eventually yeah. became the member. I cannot remember his name. He's a major da- Dia, Dia, whatever. Uh, he learns his ability. I have it over there, but it's not showing for some reason, yeah. so I, I do have to do research. Yeah. He punches a guy, and the ghost comes out of him, and like sits there and screams oh. at the audience, and then sucks back in or something. It's like, Yo, it that... felt like it should have been a 3D yeah, thing. Yeah, I think that, trying... for once, I definitely agree with you, and I hate 3D. <laughs> I think the they were trying to do, did it come yeah. out in 3D? Maybe we only saw it in 2D? No, I no, no, everything comes out in 3D, most of all the time. Most so, of the maybe it was meant to be a 3D thing, Yeah, it's all 2D. Be, yeah, because that was interesting, too, because when you said, you're not going to like the way it looks, I'm like, what? I mean, yeah. I like the way it looks. And all she's sudden, performing uh, seances where she touches them, and you know, ectoplasm comes out of the yeah. people in the old days. These people's mouths. Yeah. It forms ghosts of the recently deceased, and they're able to communicate. Yeah. So she does, it and it's drippy and gross. And the ghost comes out and in, into the audience face and all yeah. this stuff for a second. That yeah, function of, that's the 3D image. Which is that's probably why they they did like because again that's probably why they they were so focused on the on the CGI and the and the gore. I think that's why. It, it, the plot kind of suffered, and the storyline suffered, and even some of the the characters suffer. You don't get to digest them. That's you're right. Like why. I said, you, you don't get it. They just show up, and then suddenly part of the team, like Alice. Yes, you know she knew Hellboy, but she just randomly shows up because the spirits told her so, and then she's yeah. suddenly a part of the game. 
yeah. the major, the old Olmec Aware Jaguar. He shows up, and all of a sudden, he's he part of the game. game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Ian McShane, yeah, the uh, Hellboy's right. father. He's there. He's barely there. Then all of a sudden, his life is at risk, and you're supposed yeah. to feel sorry for him. You're supposed to feel a sense of urgency about it, but yeah. you've seen him maybe five, five, ten minutes of the movie so far. Yeah. And near, that's near the end of the movie, a whole two hours later. Yeah. And so, then another one last Cordy thing was when the phone it with him because um, oh the ongoing the phone, joke oh okay. my gosh dog so lame ah oh, I'm gentle darn it I'm like do we really he took, need he, to he took it? the right hand of doom the, his his rock hand yeah and turns and phone, turn phone and broke it like I'm like do we really need that in the second scene he takes another phone out with his normal hand yeah. and breaks it anyway as well it, yeah it's just it was, it was, that was unnecessary that's an ongoing that's a little joke yeah. a humor joke though. it wasn't really all that funny though but yeah overall. Go check out the movie. I'm not gonna say don't watch it. Go check it out. Don't listen to everybody else. Some of you know, oh, this movie was bad. Just give you it a might chance. Like it, but yeah. yeah. Personally, to me, I don't think it was that bad. Um, again, let us know in the comments section below how you feel about the movie. Hit that like and subscribe button. Uh, if you're watching this on my channel, man, go check out my boy Rio, man. That's the same thing I do: movie review, trailer reactions, and so forth. Also, check out Fear Bot Gaming, man. We play video games, man. We talk about games, man. Go check it out. And, uh, yeah. If you're watching this on my channel, go ahead and check out Rubino Entertainment. Link down in the description below. It does the same stuff we do over here, except top fives, um, Rubino's treasures, a bunch yes. of other stuff over there. As well as Kid Rubino, also linked down in the description below. He has a lot of the gaming, uh, a lot of uh, child based things, like, yeah. oh, kid based things, yeah. cartoons, anime, stuff over there that he enjoyed as a kid. Yeah. Go check it out. It's not bad. It's a lot of fun over there, too. Yes. Uh, as he already said, go and like, subscribe to this video. Hit the notification bell so you get notification next time we post our next video, trailer reaction, or movie review. And I like to uh, hope to see the next video we do. Peace Bye. out.